Welcome to YouTube video for this 1996 old school Monaco Dynasty in a really, really, really good shape for a 96 model. It is a used motorhome, a 96 that makes 20 years old. Got a diesel generator, as you can hear in this video, is running right now. Both windshields are free from any damage that I can see. No star cracks, I just a dirt, or any cracks. Got a little bit of clear coat coming off here. That's an age-related, so it's going to have some age-related flaws, but solid, straight body. Uh, windows are not fogged up. Good tires. Take a look at all my pictures. Tires are, wow, 01 of 16. These are brand new uh, tires, the 2016. 2016 tires, how about that? Elko aluminum wheels. Got awnings everywhere on this uh, driver's side wall, as you can see in the living room, bedroom, straight body. Got a little bit of clear coat coming off there. Uh, this door got a little, uh, previous damage. Uh, it's a little bent. That's a wash bay. Just a little bent right here, but it shuts It shuts and all, so it operates fine. It's got, it's got a little little curve here, okay? Uh, other than that, it's all good. Let's look at under the underbelly storage. Lots of underbelly storage. It's complete pass-through. It's got a 50 amp power. Uh, if you know anything about motorhomes, diesel motorhomes, dynasties, well-built. Monaco, they made a Quality motorhomes, rides on a Roadmaster chassis, got a 300 horse Cummins, or 315. Look at it, how clean it is. Let me see if I can turn some lights on. Yeah, take a look at this. Very, very clean for its age. The previous owner was trading on a, a newer model, Monaco Dynasty, it was a 2002. That's how we got it on trade. Um, so it's got few flaws, but straight body. Uh, 2016 date code tires. That is a huge plot. That's about $4,000 right there. New tires, side mount radiator. So that means you have a rear access to the engine. So when you open this up, you could see the engine, do any maintenance you want to. Got a solid fiberglass roof, got 10,000 pound towing capacity, reach type three hitch. It should be 10,000. Please look at all my information. I will probably put a, a manufacturer's window sticker or a uh, what they call is a spec sheet. I will put that on the internet. You can check it out. Let's get up top and look at the roof. The roof, it's a one piece solid fiberglass roof. I see some of the patches here, and maybe for some reason, but I uh, just wanted to, purpose of getting up on top and doing the video to let you see everything. Solid roof. No soft spot that I have felt anywhere. Air horn, two roof air conditioners, got a antenna. Shroud looks to be in good shape. Refrigerator, uh, refrigerator vent looks good. Looks like a newer replaced. Got a Max Air cover on a bathroom area. Skylight looks really good. No leaks. Uh, let's get back down and complete our video. It's got roof is in good shape as you saw. It got Cummins diesel, six speed Allison. I believe it's got a um, 315 or 300 horse. I think it's 315. But make sure to look at read my all description. A cloth awning on a bedroom. Patio awning uh, and entrance awning. They're all cloth awnings. Uh, as you saw, got a few little scratches here on this compartment door on the bottom. Got a slide out tray. It should have some. Oh, it's got a. On any thought that's going off. Take a look at it. Very clean, very clean coach. <laughs> that's your LP tank. By the way, it's a North Carolina motorhome. Now it's in South Carolina. Got a entrance on it. Let's get in here and turn that alarm off. Oh, it finally did. I step in here, you'd love it. Check, check this out. We just put a hardwood floors. Uh, they're laminated hardwood floors. We got rid of the carpet. There was nothing wrong with the carpet. A lot of times people ask me, what was wrong? Why did you take the carpet off? There was no flood. I just don't like carpet, and a lot of people don't like carpet. So we ripped the carpet off. It was faded, 20 years old rug. It's gone. We got a nice laminate. Take a look at it. We also put a little plastic cover. We don't have a lot of traffic like a retail dealership doing just internet. There is no 
a lot of traffic, but we still put a plastic down, so I don't want this nice new laminated floor to be scratched up. All right, right here we got a nice LG TV. Uh, I don't think we, you got to program it. Got a DVD player, VCR. Nice wooden cabinetry. So upgraded from a boob tube. It's already nice, 32-inch TV. All right, let's talk in cockpit area. Uh, let's see. We're gonna. All right. Fires right up. 74,912 miles. It's got tilt wheel and telescopic. Both of that. So that's that's pretty neat. Backup monitor. Engine is running. You can't even tell. It's so quiet because the engine is in back. back. By the way, the generator slides out. It's got a push button hydraulic so it comes out. So that's a lot easier to maintain too rather than just open up a front cover like some of the older motorhome. Dynasty is a quality little, uh, it's probably third from a top flagship like Signature, Executive and Dynasty. So this is a good Monaco coach right here. All right, let's see. We got uh, cruise control, leveling jacks, step slide. It's an air leveling that we got a uh, Electric mirrors, six-speed Allison. It's got a floodlight on top. Yeah, look, it came on. And you can move it around. How about that? That's like if you're going to be getting some campsite that you need some lights. So it's got a light up top. Um, nice privacy curtain that goes around. It's in good shape not much of a stain as I can see some of the older coaches they get little stain from condensation and all that uh, some paperwork here it's got a owner's manual both seats are powered driver and passenger co-pilot seat they both are powered it does have inverter generator has about uh, 1600 hours uh, that's why right. 1877 hours I'm sorry eight look like six but the generator is running right now it's got inverter look at all these walls in good shape no water leaks or any of any damage that I see on some of the older motorhomes they're ignored with well, a 74,000 mile needless to say this motorhome has been driven not set this lamp needs a switch we can change that or is a five dollars at Lowe's or Home Depot we need a switch right here got J lounge sofa uh, but let, let's see, before we leave the front area, I'd like to mention uh, driver and passenger, both seats, really good shape, no pinholes or cigarette burns, good leather, good leather on a, both seats. Let's see if it's got a, so we've got a, what they call J lounge sofa, got another sofa that opens up. Now this, oh, this sofa's got a little bit of wear here, I see it, but you know, it's got a little wear. I think actually they have a, a cover that fits on it, kind of like they bought it at L.L. Bean uh, catalog or something. It fits on top. We just took it off. But you could put that back on. Come in a center part of the area, we have a tiling. Take a look at it. Beautiful tiling. I don't see any damage, especially under the refrigerator. A lot of time people run a refrigerator and then they, they forget to turn it off or Batteries go dead and water leaks out, condensation and uh, floor gets weak and they crack. None of that issue right here. Really nice ceramic tiles. Nice uh, Korean countertops. Two burner gas stoves. Over here we have a dual sink. With a pull out sprayer. By the way, this motorhome is winterized right now. I love the wooden cabinetry. We have a convection oven. Over here, previous owner, he uh, restained this table. Beautiful job. We have uh, two chairs, and then we have a couple of additional chairs back there. And this uh, table opens up. So it expands like this. Real wood. Uh, 
Let's see, I missed one thing right here. I think he's got all the books and records are right here. We've got a box full of a Monaco owner's manual, very vitally important. Some more record right here, service manuals and all that. So that goes with the motorhome. Ceiling is uh, stain free, very solid, good, no water leaks. By the way, we're inside the coach. I'd like to mention no smoke odor, no pet odor, or importantly, I mean, there's no mildew odor, just a neutral odor coach. That's something I cannot put on a video, but uh, nice blinds. Got a standalone ice maker. I'm not sure if it works or not. A lot of times they do work, but they're. Got a fantastic fan up here or thermostatically controlled fan on top of the kitchen area. Center part of the coach, we have a sliding door. It's locked, all right. Come in here. Center part of the coach, we have a stand up shower. Corian countertops. We have a, lots of medicine cabinets here. Some storage under the sink. Real china toilet. Over here we have a coat closet that goes throughout the center part of the coach. Wallpaper is coming loose right here. May have had Previous water intrusion, you know, it's a 20 year old coach, don't have any right now. Washer dryer combo, tiling looks really good. And then we also ripped out a carpet in the back and got a hardwood floor, it's a laminated hardwood floor. So, the entire coach on the floor, there is no carpet. Lots of drawers, it's approximately a 38 feet long coach. Got another sliding privacy door. Take a look at this bedroom. Really nice. Day and night shades. Take a look at the shades. In really, really good shape. No stains. This coach, along with some age related flaws, or 20 years old. I would still give this coach way above average condition. Solid walls, nice wooden cabinets. Let's see what's under the bed. If I can lift it up. Well, maybe I'm lifting it wrong way. Let me see. Well, this would be engine here, I think. Let's see. Ah, uh, well, let's forget that right now. <laughs> it's probably not been open in a long time. Over here, you got another Vizio TV. Another coat closet. So lots of room for coats and clothes and just all kinds of cabinets. 12 volt fuses, 120 volt breaker panel. All the nightstands got a couple of store, uh, drawers under here, one down there. This will conclude our video on this 1996 Monaco Dynasty, about 38 feet long, 74,000 miles, trade-in motorhome, importantly. It's not a repo, it's a trade. Trade motorhomes are always in better shape than repo. It's very common sense, repo, if they cannot make payments, they cannot maintain it. This coach was loved by their previous, fam or previous couple. They bought a newer Dynasty, 2002, so really good shape. Uh, it will not last on internet. These older, nice,
conditioned diesel pushers don't last too long. If you're looking for perfect coach, I'm sure you're not looking at a 96 model diesel pusher. So if you're picky, uh, this is not a perfect coach, but it's a good coach, winterized, newer tires, turnkey, ready to go. Uh, give me a call. I prefer text communication. My number is 864-404-0054. Usually we do test drive video, but we're not going to do it now. The daylight is running out. Uh, but if you request one, I'll do a FaceTime or a WhatsApp call or Skype, whatever. If you have a smartphone and want to do a video call, we'll do that. This is a good, solid running motorhome. Give me a call one more time, 864-404-0054. I prefer text. If you don't know how to text, then leave me a voicemail. I'll give you a call back. 864-404-0054. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day.